This is the filament extruder that I have made using some printed parts like the one for the motor and the other which is for the thrust bearing this is how it looks like of course this uh, very ugly bottle that I am using attached to the hopper with some tape here is an adjustable filament guide which is also printed and allows for a lot of fine tuning even the so-called washers are printed the material used for printing of these parts is actually produced by this exact extruder except for the red hopper of course the interesting thing about this extruder is that it's a DC one it uses some 40 watt cartridges like this one that are attached to the heated heating barrel it looks like this so actually this aluminium block for heating is powered by two heating cartridges these are other parts produced with this filament if it's focusing probably you can see the quality is good enough it's made of natural ABS the controller board for this extruder is a melzy one so the heater is attached to the extruder output and I'm using a thermistor which is similar to the one I'm using for the for my 3D printer which is attached here on the brass nozzle the idea here is that everybody that has a 3D printer has a controller and of course has a very powerful DC power supply like the one next to the CRT monitor and what you need actually are just the hardware parts barrel, auger, nozzle and the motor of course which is the most expensive part of this machine and everything else you can print or use the existing electronics for your printer this is what it has produced for about uh, three, three and a half hours it's a three millimeter filament you need to put it on a leather or something like this very high in order to produce three millimeter filament even in my case the height is on the low side if you are producing 1.75 mm filament then you may actually put your extruder next to your printer for example and have some much shorter cables running from the controller board of your printer 
and your power supply for example in this case but as you can see it can also produce 3 millimeter filament with some longer cables in my case the controller is very close to the extruder because I'm actually producing these Melzi controllers and I can afford to have several ones the design allows for some adjustment if you use longer threaded rods you can put it higher or lower you can even rotate them at 180 degrees you have to rotate the motor and then you have a very low profile extruder but in this case you have to use some other simpler filament guide because the nozzle will be located at some very low point or you can use this one attached under the the plate there are a lot of bolts here and I'm actually aiming to to make it stronger so that it is fighting with the force that's trying to rotate it it's trying to rotate the motor and the other parts so that's why I have installed four more bolts in order to make it stronger the plastic material I am using is produced by LG and it is a very high quality I am actually printing with uh, 225 degrees shown on my thermistor which is actually equal to 195 if measured with a thermocouple bonding is very good Warping is much less, probably due to the low temperature. And this material by LG is readily available at least in Europe. I brought it I bought it from a company that has offices in all European countries. And the price of these plastic pellets is about uh, three three and a half euro per kilogram of course it is sold in packages of 25 kilograms as so other plastics as you can see I haven't tuned the film and guide or probably there is too much of a mess under it here and there is not enough weight so you can see sometimes there are some bendings of the filament which are not so sufficient I mean the printer can handle them without any problems so that is my extruder